Hello, and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will give a general overview of the parameters you need to select when running a modulated differential scanning calorimetry experiment, also known as MDSC. In MDSC, the total heat flow, which is recorded in a traditional DSC, can be separated into two parts based on the response of the system to a changing heating rate. This is achieved by superimposing a sinusoidal heating rate, or temperature modulation, on a linear heating rate. By controlling the instantaneous heating rate in this way, MDSC separates out which component of the total heat flow is able to follow the temperature modulation. This component is referred to as the reversing heat flow. The reversing heat flow component is a function of the sample's intrinsic heat capacity and the rate of temperature change. The other part of the heat flow equation is a function of absolute temperature and time, the kinetic component. This term does not follow modulation and is the non-reversing heat flow. It is important to remember that reversing and non-reversing heat flow signals are not necessarily a measure of reversible and irreversible transitions. To run a modulated DSC experiment, you will need to select three key parameters, the average heating rate, the temperature modulation period, and the temperature modulation amplitude. The average ramp rate of an MDSC experiment is typically between 1 and 3 degrees Celsius per minute. To properly separate out reversing and non-reversing heat flow through a thermal transition, a minimum of 4 to 6 full modulations should be achieved through the transition of interest. If the transition occurs over too narrow a temperature range, or if the average heating rate is too fast, this might not be achieved. You can check the number of modulations over a transition by plotting the modulated heat flow of your experiment in your TRIO software. The modulation period should be long enough to allow for a quantitative measurement of heat flow between the sensor and the sample. Too short a period may be too fast for the sample to maintain the desired modulation, which result in poor data. Too long a period will require a lower average heating rate to achieve the appropriate number of modulations required. In general, TA Instruments recommends that when analyzing thermal transitions with MDSC, that a period of 60 seconds be used. When performing heat capacity measurements, we recommend a period of 120 seconds. If you are using heavier than normal pans, for example, TA Instruments high volume pans, you may want to increase the period to 200 seconds in order for the full temperature modulation to be achieved over the given period. Keep in mind that this may require slower average heating rates to achieve the proper number of modulations over a transition. The modulation amplitude is most commonly set to plus or minus one degree Celsius for conventional MDSC experiments. Larger amplitudes will result in greater sensitivity. This may be helpful in identifying hard to observe glass transitions. However, if the amplitude is too large, there may be a loss of resolution. A large amplitude may also adversely affect the linearity of the heat flow response, resulting in an irregular temperature modulation. During a conventional MDSC experiment, the instantaneous heating rate is both heating and cooling sinusoidally around the average heating rate. When studying melt or crystallization transitions, it is undesirable to have instantaneous cooling. This is when a heat-only MDSC experiment is appropriate. All that is required by the user for these experiments is to select the desired average heating rate and modulation period. The TRIO software will provide the proper amplitude for that average heating rate and modulation period, which will result in the instantaneous heating rate never dropping below zero degrees a minute. Remember that finding the appropriate MDSC conditions can be an iterative process at times, and one method might not fit all materials. Conventional MDSC is typically used when studying amorphous structures or heat capacity, and heat-only conditions should be used for crystalline and semi-crystalline materials. A good place to start when selecting parameters for a new material is with an average heating rate of two degrees per minute with a temperature amplitude of plus or minus one degree Celsius over a period of 60 seconds when analyzing transitions, or 120 seconds when studying heat capacity. In this TA Tech Tip, we reviewed the main parameters of an MDSC experiment and what to keep in mind when selecting them. 
Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you for your interest.